trafficking report from 2022, it shows at this point, um, Caddo actually has the highest number of adult and juvenile victims that are being trafficked, followed by Orleans, East Baton Rouge, and Rapides Parish. So it seems like what what our world wants you to believe that human trafficking is, is someone pulls up in a van, shoves you in the van, and takes you away. But that's not at all what we're dealing with here. What we're seeing here in our own state, in our own city, are people that are being trafficked by people they know. We have a lot of cases that are familial trafficking cases where a member of the family is trafficking that victim. Maybe a, a, you know, a family member, like a relative, it could be the parent, and that child is still in the home. Usually the individuals that are involved with that trafficking are people that are charismatic. Traffickers can come from all different backgrounds. These individuals can include boyfriends, parents, business owners, men or women, any ethnicity, race, or nationality. We've seen situations where you have professionals, people who white collar people go to go to work, you know, dressed maybe in the suit like I'm wearing right now, and then, you know, after five or whatever, they engage in human trafficking. Some traffickers are local and operate out of local hotels or motels. Some carry their victims from state line to state line or parish to parish. It's very important that we are all aware of what makes someone vulnerable and how a person can be recruited, even unknowingly recruited, into the world of trafficking. There was a case where it was a high school where, where some of the students there were engaged in human trafficking. They're recruited um, at bus stops, at schools, in church groups, even at detention centers and shelters and boys and girls clubs and, and Job Corps. So trafficking can occur anywhere and recruiting can occur anywhere out in the community. Human trafficking looks more like someone creating a relationship with you, providing a resource, creating a friendship, making a a way of them trusting you or you trusting them and um, feeling like a friend and feeling like a family member, feeling like a safe place that you can be. But that person who you're depending on, who you say is your person or they love you or they're your daddy or whatever you call them, they are using force and um, abuse and manipulation, gaslighting to keep you in the life. A lot of these uh, individuals involved in this sort of sex, commercial sex act, uh, they are forced to do it, either by physical force, threats of violence, uh, sometimes it's coercion. Um, and then also you have underage um, you know, workers who, by law, they cannot engage in that type of conduct. And so once uh, we started to see that they are not really uh, culpable as far as the criminal aspects of prostitution, they're victims. Purchase Not For Sale is a resource for women who are confirmed victims of human trafficking. People that come to us um, come from all walks of life. Um, there's adult women who end up coming to us, there's children who end up coming to us, there's juveniles who end up coming to us, um, there's boys and um, there's families even. It's just an ev every demographic.